Hey guys, it's Tess with another video. So if you're only interested in the painting of the design, it starts at seven minutes and 21 seconds. Um, but today I'm doing some Jason Voorhees nails, um, also known as the movie Friday the 13th. So I just wanna apologize you guys for the lighting. It changes a lot and there's nothing I can really do about it. It's just the way the light is in my room. Uh, and also, for the footage of the gel application. And the reason I put the timestamp in for the painting is because some of the gel application, you cannot see it very well. I wanted to get really in depth about applying builder gel and hard gel, but it was just really difficult for some reason. I think um, my camera positioning wasn't the best for this video. So I don't know, I don't know what happened. I think I was just, so ready and so excited to do the painting i wasn't even paying attention to how the camera looked for the hard gel but i will give you guys a few tips even though you can't see the application very well so i'm doing my normal prep except instead of doing dehydrator primer and base coat i'm not doing the base coat I actually watched a video of Natalie Carmona. I think that's how you say her name. She's a really big nail tech on um, YouTube, but she actually puts down a base of the hard gel. And that is her base for the rest of the building of the gel and whatnot. Um, so I'm just putting a very thin layer, like a nail polish layer on my nails in order to make sure that is a hard sticky foundation for the rest of the gel. Okay, so guys, the best technique to go about gel is to guide it and to flow on top of it. You don't want to push on it. You don't want to pat it like you do with poly gel. You don't want to brush on it like you do with acrylic. It's very light handed and you have to guide the gel because if you press too hard, it's just going to make your gel look super weird. Yes, baby. So while I was doing this, um, the pink gel, I started realizing that I ran into an issue or I'm going to run into an issue. And that is I do not have enough gel, pink gel for all the nails like I was going to do. So I decided just to make two nails um, that's like a mix of that purple hard gel and then the pink hard gel put together. And then I had to resort to my other pink hard gel for the rest of the pink nails to create an apex um, because it just was not enough. If you have really, really long nails, you're gonna wanna get like two of these kits because um, it's just not gonna work if you have long nails with just one of these kits. You're gonna run into a problem and not being able to finish your set the way you want to. Okay, so here I'm mixing the rose sequin hard gel, builder gel, whatever you want to call it. Because I don't know if y'all can tell, but all of the sequins like settled to the bottom. And I wanted to make sure everything was evenly distributed so that I get that cute jelly-like effect when it's mixed with the um, finer purple hard gel. So there you see me just picking up a glob of the purple and then the rose red sequin heart gel and then i just mix it together on top of the nail and from there i just form my nail yes baby So 
guys, you're probably wondering why I'm kind of just taking big globs and just pretty much slapping it on there. I've learned over research that filing um, hard gel or builder gel is a lot easier than filing, well, sorry, <laughs> than filing um, poly gel or acrylic. Um, I think it has something to do with the formula. It's a lot softer. Um, it's not as hard as acrylic, obviously. So I think that's what makes it a lot, lot easier. And when I was filing it, I didn't file it on camera, but when I was, I could just kind of tell, just thinking about it, how much easier and how much quicker it was to file. I actually had to be very, very light-handed with the filing in order not to ruin the nails. So here you guys just see me top coating um, before I do my design. I don't want my nail to stain when I do the cleaning up with a brush. So that's why I'm doing this step. So before we continue, I just want to remind you guys, a majority of you who watch me are actually not subscribed. So I would so appreciate it if you could just hit the subscribe button and also like. Okay, so now I'm doing the old English style numbers and I am doing the number 13. Obviously I'm doing the number 13, I mean, duh. But yeah, baby, so cool. Sorry guys, that's my baby girl. Um, but this design, I know it looks kind of intimidating when you're kind of looking at it on a picture or on a reference picture, but it's honestly not that hard. My trick I use is I just kind of slap on the outline and then once the outline is done, I color it in. And then from there, you're gonna take a really thin or like a pinch at the end brush to clean up the edges of your numbers. So you guys, I was so excited to do this because for one, I found little outlines online to plan out these nails. So I knew exactly what I was gonna do, where I was gonna do it, like, I was just so excited. And just cause I kinda wanna do something more different than everybody else is doing. Um, and I love painting and drawing, just art in general. So I just could not wait to do something like this. I actually want to do another really, really cool idea. I'm not gonna say anything, but it's gonna be so dope. That's gonna come after my next video though, because the next video I plan on posting is more than likely going to be a makeup video for all my makeup boo-boos, because I know not everybody is into the nail stuff. Uh, for me, it's so relaxing, and that's why this is like the main content I post now. But yeah, so I have a really, really awesome idea for next time.
Okay, so now the same thing. I am actually looking at a reference picture. Here it is for you guys if you're interested. But um, I am just creating the outline and then we are going to just color it in and then clean up the edges. If you guys want to start doing nail art, reference pictures are going to be your best friend. Um, also, I would recommend maybe attempting to draw and paint on actual like papers and canvases because it will help you um, perfect your skills and kind of navigate you for doing it on a smaller surface, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah. Guys, if I sound a little quieter, it's just because um, my baby, I just put her to sleep. So, um, yeah. But anyways, it is so satisfying just coloring in the outline. That's like mwah, chef's kiss because it just brings it all together. I was considering leaving them hollow, but I'm so happy I didn't because it just, I feel like it would have looked a little bit odd. Um, but maybe next time if I ever do this for a Halloween look I should use red on like a white base that would be so dope perfect Okay, so once I do both of the numbers, um, after they're cured, I go in with more black polish and just go over the numbers in order to make it more opaque and to make it pop. So I'm sure you guys have been seeing a lot of blood nail art. Um, I just wanted to show it here in this video. It's pretty simple. You just take a dotting tool and slowly kind of drag up the polish a little bit. And then from there you take a liner brush and um, add the detail and the curves of the blood and whatnot. It's a really simple design. I'm not really going to get into it too much just because you. I know if you're into nails, especially if you have a TikTok, you've seen so many girls do this now. Honestly, it's super, super simple and super cute for Halloween. So I just wanted to add a little something. I didn't want to leave the nails plain. Uh, I'm happy I did it though, because I mean, blood just goes so well with the Jason Voorhees idea. I mean, it wouldn't really be Jason Voorhees without blood. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay guys, so now I'm just referring back to my little outline sheet I drew and I am figuring out what nail I plan to do Jason on and it is the pointer finger. Oh, the part I've been waiting for that you've probably been waiting for. Honestly, it's super simple. That's why I chose to do him for this video. I like to keep my nail art somewhat simple for beginners but you make a base of white just make a huge circle i actually had to expand his head a little bit um uh after i started doing more of the design just because he was looking like uh <laughs> he had a big old forehead and no no nay nay as bailey sarian would say i love her so much but yeah i just do my white base and then from there you guys will see i do the dots and the lines it's it's honestly so simple you just have to have a reference picture like i said before to really get it on point um but on another note what is you guys' favorite friday the 13th movie or jason movie my favorite one is jason goes to hell by far the best jason movie in my opinion I know a lot of people don't really like older horror movies, but I'm all about like 80s and 90s horror movies. They are so dope. Um, if you're a guy, you like titties, titties all up in it. <laughs> but um, yeah, and I think my second favorite would probably be... Hmm, that's so hard. I would have to say like, one of like the earlier Friday the 13th films, like the 80s ones. And then my least favorite is um, Jason X. It's when they're in space. It was really weird. Like I, I don't know. I just didn't really like it. I guess it just took away from the Jason aspect of him being at Camp Crystal Lake and all that. And it just, it just got too weird for me. <laughs> I am a horror movie fanatic. I love horror movies so much. All the oldies, like all the old Michael Myers, Carrie, the original version, not the newer version. That version is trash. <laughs> um, any Stephen King movie, really. Children of the Corn is my favorite Stephen King movie. Uh, Michael Myers, if I haven't said that already. <laughs> um, let me think. Saws. Those movies are pretty good. Well, Saw, not Saws. <laughs> But not to make things super sad and super morbid, but as you guys know, it is, well, some of you may know, not all of you, but October is my birthday month. And it is also, unfortunately, the month that my little brother took his own life last year. So I am going to link down below um, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline and website so that maybe you guys could get some information to donate or to somehow just educate yourself on depression, bipolar, mental illnesses that really get deep into your soul and make things, make people do permanent decisions. Sorry guys, I'm trying to talk about this on the spot, so it's, it's kind of hard for me still. But um, yeah, I'm gonna link that down below. It would mean a lot to me if you guys just checked it out. After I was done lining the hockey mask, Jason mask, I think it's so funny how everybody refers to it as a Jason mask now when it was originally just a hockey mask. But anyways, um, 
After I'm done lining it, I take a little bit of the black polish. I should have done brown instead, but I kind of dirty up the front of the mask just to make, you know, make it look like he was ruffling around, running around in the woods. Um, I should have, but like I said, I should have used brown and maybe like a hint of yellow to make that look a little bit more um, realistic because I feel like the black just made it look like I stained black polish on him. Perfect. Okay, lastly, I decided to do the gems. You've probably already seen that on the nail outline I had done. Um, I was looking on Pinterest for a design that kind of looked like, sh mm, I'm trying to talk and it's just not working. <laughs> I keep stuttering, I hate that. But I was trying to find a design that was kind of sharp and kind of looked like a knife, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, I could have used my imagination more on this one, but I just wanted to make it easy and fast. So this is what I did. And honestly, I'm not mad at it. It looks so cute. And for the first time in a long time, I actually did it the same on both hands because normally I accidentally make a mistake on one hand. So it looks slightly different than it does on the other side. I don't know if anybody else is this way, but you know, when you're just doing your nails for such a long time and then you kind of just get tired and just start being like fuck it bro and just putting shit together that is me because normally when i do poly gel it takes me a really really long time like a whole day to do my nails <laughs> and here is the final results so cute so bob i was so proud of myself for the um old english style numbers i keep wanting to say letters but guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe like and hit the notification bell i love you guys so much bye